think I got that straightened out. So I'm actually going to go ahead and mute and speak again for now. Rest in pepperoni. Lame. I'll talk to you guys later. Microphone muted. Sound muted. Okay, so we will get back to coding now, which means I can post it back on Reddit. And welcome DakarimK86. I scared off a lot of people by playing some games. Submit. And submit. Ish. I have no idea what it looked like. So is my stream working good now? Looks like. Uh, I mean, it's back. Right. Scratch. Ew. Is that music going again? Um. Wait. There we go. Yeah, because I realized I like to put my chat in the bottom right, and my face was there before, so I didn't really see the chat. Get this started. Ah, uh, crap. Yes. <laughs> oh, I will trust you. Okay. Let's get back to this. Let's go ahead and open up, um... What was this? Probably easy. What? I'm doing all right, Decorim. How about you? So. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, that's right. They pug your poor hackbook charger. There we go. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and open up. Hello. Log. Oh, let's see. One second, guys. Okay, let's get this started. So, back to work on flash messages. Um. Local. Post. Flash test. That's looking better. Lots better. Uh. Let's see. That's right, I was going to try and set up live reload. That's. I've reload. That's good to hear, Dakarim. Uh. No, we're not working on. Yeah. Oh, let's see what I need to. Do. Get this working. I start using like is he compatible? Okay, it's compatible. How do I choose? 
Uh, go and use the browser instruction. So we're almost ready to go. Extension. Welcome back, Sapog. Yeah, I already brought it down some. Actually, just make that all. Oh. That. It's too. Better. Uh. And welcome to 22 and the Far Wolf. Glad to see you guys back in here. Yes. Firefox extension. Oh. Install. Start. Okay, so we now should have ri live reload abilities. As Adam starts, and I can actually get back to editing. Oh my god, load already. Adam. File. Folder. Select folder. They have fixed that yet. Load. Okay. Not the one I was actually thinking of. And welcome, Kubito. Hope you enjoy the content. If you don't, uh, if you don't feel, uh, crap, I completely forgot my spiel. Okay, let's start over. Welcome, Kubito. Hope you enjoy the content. If you do, don't forget to drop that follow. If you don't feel like following, still just happy to have you here. So let's get this going, going, going. Load. Live reload. There. Customize. And act. God. Um. Alt. Tools. Now this is not the live reload I thought. I don't know if it's gonna work. Fine. Go away. Install that uh, uninstall that add-on. Yeah, because I think I've actually got it pretty good on my end. Close. And live reload is This is it. Reload.com. It's the website I'm thinking. Oh. Um. Back. Live reload. Welcome, four kiss and do twenty two. Glad to see you back in here. Do 22 and welcome for the first time to four kiss or I didn't see you in here last time and hope you enjoy that content if you do don't forget to drop that follow if you don't feel like following still just happy to have you in here so uh 
live Live reload head request. That's how I um Live JS? It. Yes it is. Download live JS. So yes. Copy. Got that going. Uh is it Steam? Let's go ahead and add this to our JavaScript. Uh not public JavaScript file. I've re yes. Dave. Yeah. So let's see, we got that going. And welcome Vibe Robber. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you do, don't forget to drop that follow. Yes, I did. I was walking to the stream, Kabito. Yeah, if you, if you like it, don't forget to drop that follow. If you don't feel like following, still just happy to have you in here. Yeah, I was just welcome to the stream, Kobe. Welcoming, welcoming you to the stream. Holy crap, I can't talk tonight. Or possibly ever, but that remains to be decided. Um, let's see, how do I use live jam? Go try including. Oh, welcome back, Dak. See that right away. Thank you for the follow, Kubito. Glad you're enjoying what I got going so far. Uh, trying to get live reload in right now. Partials. Drop this into layout. Script. Course equal. Slash live. Why am I adding a semicolon? What am I doing? Flash test. See if this actually works. Grab that. That's too light. Drag down the lightness. Uh, style sheet style. Flash. Yes. Uh, I wasn't looking. That looks different. Let's go ahead and do. Dave? It works! Holy crap! Works really well. Excited! This is what it does for me. It automatically applies CSS changes so I don't have to refresh every time. So this time it's actually just making head requests to the servers, checking if it's modified. If it is, it applies the changes to the CSS dynamic. It'll also reload on JavaScript changes. Yeah. Uh. It really is. I haven't tried it before, so I figured that's the nicest, nicest time as ever to actually try it. So pause. And up. Right. Next decor. And go ahead and do ice.
font color. Yep. Oh. So. Uh, that's not gonna work. That's look good. Up. Color. Ooh. Yeah, that look. Uh, top. Zero. Let's just go ahead and do. Color this as three. Ah, uh, that looks better. But let's just go. Ah, uh, no. Yes, that's perfect. So now we're going to do some jQuery. Okay, so back to layout. Open up CD and. Yes. Uh, why am I looking down here? Do AQ copy after live reload. Go and have scripts file, but uh, uh, main dot and wire this in layout. So, script Java scripts. God, I cannot type tonight. Uh, main. It's that. Brush at least once, so. Uh, template up. Actually, I. Yes. Oh my god, it already loaded them. What the hell? And it's. Oh my god. Oh! <gasps> It automatically loads J JavaScript without actually refreshing. That is fucking amazing. Or maybe it just loads the uh, HTML without refreshing, dynamically adding no. Either way, that's fucking awesome. So, uh, document uh, on ready. Uh, dot. Post about an epic free concert at the beach. You miss out. That's it. And you never hear the end of it. Every moment on and so does your network. Join Verizon today and get two smartphone lines and six gigabytes of shareable and one hundred dollars per month on Verizon. This plus get the latest high tech smartphones for no money down for qualified customers. Visit your uh, Verizon store to join the largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. And so let's see if it works. Subject to customer net agreements and credit approval. Coverage details at Verizon. Might refresh. Yeah, I think I have. Oh, it works! It works, guys! So, we got those flash messages working. Crap! Gatorade? So, yeah, if anybody is curious about what this is, get. Sexy. So yeah, that is amazing. Uh I'm just gonna use it for developing because I don't see a need to have it at launch as a deploy. Anyway, probably through Daku. And welcome Cocoon LOL. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the content. If you do, don't forget to drop that follow. If you don't feel like following, still just happy to have you here. I don't like that yellow. So go ahead and go orange. So just because it's really cool, I'm gonna drag this here. Got that. Adding. And good. Try this. So, and drag this here. Style that style. Flash dot. Oh. 
Yeah, that looks... Eh, needs to be lighter. Go ahead and drag this here. And lighten it up a little bit. So, a flash alert. Yeah, that looks better. Not too light, but light enough. Add some box shadow. I feel like having some box shadow. Um. CN box shadow generator. Yeah, Mozilla actually provides a box shadow generator. So we got that going. Plus. Added. Okay. There we go. Uh, so. Drop this in, I Got. Copy. Bob. Then cut. Oh, well, not copy. I don't know why, but go ahead and. Happened. Eight. Eight. So. Oh, uh, maybe. Left. I think that. Yeah, that looks better. Five. Let's see what? Oh, the blur radius. Like three p. Change this all to. All it. Black grayscale. Yeah, what do you guys think of that? I like the box shadow. The texture. Against choppy, let me check. Uh, drop frame. Uh, yeah, it's dropping to four frames per second every so often. Why? I can't turn down the settings anymore if I want it to still be legible. Um. Let's see. Got some stuff in. Uh. Oh my god, that's bright. Now I've closed that. Come back, Flux. There we go. That was... Oh my god, that's fine. Right. Flux. Save my eyes. Uh... Yeah, the frame rate keeps dropping, and I don't know why. Fuck. It's time for a new... Damn, guys. Firefox. Look at all those head requests. Uh, I don't need... Hey Nerdburn, welcome back. Yeah, I think I might need contrast on Yo, just steal um so welcome back, Nerdburn. Glad to see you in here again. 
Uh, that's... Let me go maniac. I want to see imaginary points. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. We're still working on those flash messages, and we got some awesome uh, live reload action going on. Why do I? Fine. Assume that too much. Drag this here. This here. Uh. Oh. Get a new color. There we go. That's... Try this. Might not be enough, but we can at least check it out. So, let's see how this looks. Uh, alert. That's much better. Much darker. Still classifies as an alert. I'll probably do some more work on this. So, let's see. I don't really like that green. Oh, uh, that's success. That's better. Get a whole palette. And Error. These aren't buttons, they're actually flash messages, so anything that. Crap, that's. But, like, any alert that needs to be conveyed to the user, these. Close them. Uh. Body. Oh, uh, first. Adding way too much. And welcome back, Neo Sun and Angry Masturbator. Good to see you in here again. Oh, thank you for the follow, Odimat. Good to see you in here. I saw you in, uh, Happy, Happy Hustlers stream last night. Uh, microphone noise gate. Yeah, that should be reversed. That should be better. Apply. How's that, guys? So, yeah, glad to see you in here. Go away. Thank you for all the Twitter love, but I need to focus. So, we got that going. We got this going. Yeah, how are you doing tonight, Odomat? Matt? Let's see. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> I don't have an audience or people I know that make porn. Welcome back, say pug. So let's see, that's looking better. And welcome, Cybian BFF. Good to see you in here. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you do, don't forget to drop that follow. If you don't feel like following, still just happy to have you in here. So let's see. Yeah, I know when I mumble, it's like, huh, so how does this work? How does this work? Programming teens. That's a good question. Yay, glad audio is much better. I don't actually really need a noise gate on this one because it's basically got a nice flat sound. Okay, so we got that box shadow. I'm going to drop this again. So, two and two. Save. Hmm. I'm going to be finicky about this. 2.5, 2.5, save. Yeah, that looks good. Anyway, let me also. There's got to be one, because that's the fastest growing demographic, I think. So let's see, we got that going. No, fuck it, I'm going back to three.
No quality setting. What do you mean? Oh, if you're talking about the audio settings, I was in... Actually, why is there no quality setting? I don't know. Uh... Hang on, guys. Twitch.tv slash settings. It may be enable... Uh... Let's see. Oh no, don't play sound, don't play sound. Caffeine writer. Uh, settings. No, no sound, no sound. Quiet. Stay quiet. I was not. I did have a radio show briefly, though. Aw, oh, that sucks. I don't think I have any option for it. I was not a jazz radio host, but I did have a short-lived radio show. Uh... Yeah, I just have YOLO band because why the fuck not? Ah, that explains it. Well, if you want transcoding, get those viewers in here. Call on your friends. Tell them to leave the stream open while they do something else. Uh, so we got that, got that, got that. One point two, not one point W. There we go. Yeah, that's a meteor close button. Uh, it shouldn't be. I w was doing the same quality. One point three, make that nice and big, and then do the top as like negative four px. It could be, because it's sending a lot of head requests. So I might have to take it out. Um, yeah, even though I have it set to 500. That's not quite right. Though I don't see why... Mm, maybe. I don't know. We'll give it a shot in a bit. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to... Let's check this out. Uh, documentation? Actually, let's do that. And then go to layout. So save. This way we can only enable it when we actually need it. So. Welcome, Mr. Cowwaters. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the content. If you don't enjoy, uh, if you don't feel like, hope you enjoy the content. If you do, do, don't forget to drop that follow. If you don't feel like following, still just happy to have you in here. I am failing utter utterly at my um, speaking, apparently. Live.js. Okay. Yeah, I think that's making less head requests. So, yeah, hope you enjoy it. That would be this. It's not bad right now, but I just want to do something that actually shows off some of my own design skills. Instead of just minor tweaks to a ghost theme. No problem. Did it freeze? Mm, doesn't say it did. Um, let's see. Uh, let's drop those fonts. Crap. Google.com fonts. I know. It was. It came with the theme. Um. Play fair. Add to collection. And what was I using for my body? Arvo? No. Paragraph. Crap. 
Serif is the only one I was looking at. Delete that. Actually, Playfair display does not look bad as a paragraph text. Uh, might go with Noto Serif. That doesn't look bad. Ooh, Lab Libre Baskerville. Let's go with that. I love Baskerville. I have it on a digital ocean droplet. So, uh,. Welcome back, Nerdburn. Yeah, Digital Ocean's actually really great for the price, and I have a hundred dollars in credit left there. So that's good. And click on use. Oh, let's get bold in here too. And italic. I don't think we need anything else. I don't think we need ultra bold. If we do, we can always add it later. So yeah, if you guys do sign up on DigitalOcean, let me know, because uh, I can send you a ref link that will get you 10 bucks in free credit. And I'm a greedy bastard, so. There's that. Uh. Let's see, layouts, just gonna try and... Crap. Um, font family. Welcome DevSideK, good to see you in here again. Yeah, I just don't have any money to do an actual dedicated server. The only reason I'm even hosting on DigitalOcean is because I have so much credit there. Otherwise, I was hosting on Heroku before, and that powers down after a certain amount of time. Yeah, I do not get that many hits on my site. And control shift up. No. There we go. Damn. Might check these out later, but the main thing that stops me is money. Honestly, I don't even think about it much. Like, the most hits I got were a couple hundred in one day from some Hacker News articles I submitted. net okay so no no close that close actually I'm gonna see style that style so actually font And let's do this as there we go. I don't really want to just go for hits, like, I want it to be organic search traffic because it's my personal site. I'm not really trying to boost up the Alexa rating, I send it to employers or anybody that asks for it. I will be streaming tomorrow. Take care, Nerdburn. Thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, font family. And play fa For my site?
That's the link to my personal site, if that's what you're asking for. Um, uh, I'm not liking the Serif title. So... I need at least one sans serif, so choose. Yeah, like I really have no need to go for any big server. I'm fine with the, on the 512 megabyte instance, get a terabyte of monthly traffic, 20 gigs of storage. And welcome Afro Lion X. Hope you enjoy the content. If you do, don't forget to um if you do, don't forget to drop that follow. If you don't feel like following, still just happy to have you in here. Yeah, you do use your service differently than your home computer, but honestly, I still don't need a shit ton of RAM or anything. If I do, I can I'll set it up for multiple sites, but I'm really only hosting my own right now. So hmm. Uh, sentence. Droid Sands, Montserrat, Ubuntu. Hmm. Yeah, I've never had to deal with uploading a high quality vid. Or uploading any videos for that matter. Uh, hmm, kind of like Cabin. Let's go with Montserrat. That's good server administration, but hmm, I don't know. Yeah, it's still fine on page load. Damn it. Okay, let's strip this down. Place the href. So, backspace, and I agree. Thank you for that follow, uh, Dead Steam, and welcome to the stream. Yeah, you're not showing up on here yet, but thanks for the follow. Hope you can hear that. Oh, crap. What'd I do? What'd I do? Oh, no. Okay, that's better. No. Stay. There we go. Yeah. Linux is the way to go if you're going. I don't know. Each operating system has its advantages and disadvantages. So. Uh, I did not change that, so. Ooh. Still no. It's all good, say pug. Windows looks really frickin' dirty. Um I was gonna do something. Montserrat Live.js Eh 
And welcome Jen underscore underscore underscore. Hope you enjoy the content. If you don't feel like follow, uh, hope you, if you enjoy the content, hope you follow. I cannot do my spiel tonight. If you enjoy it, follow. If you don't feel like following, still just happy to have you here. Ah, uh, crap. That's not how I want it to look. Oh, is it just some click shit? Pigeons, alright. I got join notifications on my uh, chatty right here. Like you can see uh, where to go. Right there. Join Jen underscore underscore underscore. Ha! Windows Light is best. No. I'm not liking the look at this, but we'll go and make more design choices as time goes on. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. So we got that flash close. Let's run that flash test again, see if the font looks better. Welcome to the owning pie! Good to see you back in here. That's looking pretty good, actually. Anyway, let's get back to adding content. So let's create a model for new file. Post model.js var mongoose equals require mongoose. Christ sakes, uh, var post schema equals require. Or, no, not require. I am failing tonight. Linux is actually really awesome once you get it customized to how you like. So does everything. Windows has its issues. OS X has its issues. <laughs> I love Linux. I just can't stream on Linux. Uh, post schema. Title. Type. String required true. Let's see body type string required true. Yeah, I actually have um, Ubuntu installed on here. I just wish there were more. Actually, I just wish I had a better network card because there are no there is very little driver support for it on Linux. Uh so you were working with what looked like CSS a few minutes ago and now you're doing Node.js? It's all together because CSS is a part of web development. This is actually stylus, a CSS markup language. And if you look at the rendered style, you can see right here it's got it all um invalid yeah. Not quite SAS. Stylus is uh Yeah, here we go. It's basically style uh SAS but less syntax rigid, so you can drop basically anything. Yeah, you can do mix ins, uh all kinds of stuff with it, just like SAS. But anyway, it's part of my stack, but the main parts are uh, Node.js. Yeah, front-end J, uh, front-end development can be a pain in the ass. Like right now, I'm still have basically very little done comparatively, but we've made a lot of progress. Got these flash messages working. So, oh, uh, for some reason they did not render last time, so. Yeah, I can just close these. I'm mostly full stack. I just kind of work with whatever I need, but I'm better at back end. Uh, so, title, body, 
date type date default date dot now is that the other thing the correct trackpad oh wow Anyway, we got title, body, date. Let's do tags, type, array. Uh, default, uncategorized. Let's see, what else do we need in a post? It very well could have. Bottom end, that's the way to do it. We're doing pretty well on viewers, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. And welcome, Inkject. Hope you enjoy the content. Welcome back, Rush Junior 08. But yeah, welcome, Inkject. Hope you enjoy the content. If you do, don't forget to drop that follow. If you don't feel like following, still just happy to have you here. So yeah, welcome back, Russ. Glad to see you in here. Oh my God, that's a long message. Uh, bachelor's fine. Some words I've written to that was intense. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you ever seen this crap. Uh, crap. 180 websites in 180 days. The way this girl learned, Jennifer DeWalt, that's what it was. She had 180 websites in 180 days. Everything from just a simple homepage like this, which has grown, to make a deal, which is just a simple little practice with image links. Yeah, it's uh, actually, yeah, it really is. And there's a lot of cool stuff on here. Like, I'm impressed with some of the stuff she made in a day, uh, particularly later on. Hooray! Yeah. Uh, Team Treehouse has some great stuff. Um. Yeah, it's really the best way to learn is just force yourself to do it. The way I'm forcing myself to code a little bit every day is I'm just, um, crap, I had an entire sentence formed. Uh, you need to just start forcing yourself to do it. I force myself to do it by streaming for you people, because I can't really dick around if you guys are watching. Free code camp. I remember you saying, uh, showing me that before. Need a hackintosh. Um, uh, let's see what else. Title, body, date, tags. Doesn't need to be complex. Actually, let's start with that. And module dot exports equals mongoose dot model post post schema I dick around plenty but at least it's all kind of towards that's actually completely true I mean I rapped last night but I don't go off and play video games well that's not true either I played video games today I'm more focused with you guys I still bounce around like all hell but at least it's towards a general goal Uh, so that's good. Uh, never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Are you happy now? Sing for tonight. That's what you get.
Uh, what was... It really is. Like, I'd be on Linux right now if I could handle streaming. But it doesn't have support for... It doesn't have CLR browser, so I can have some of my cool Twitch Alert plugins. Uh... That's, yeah, that's fucking bullshit. It's not virus proof. So, let's see, we got that post model. Let's go back to the admin routes. Router.get new post function rec, uh, Need that is authenticated function. Uh, I'm terrified as to what this is. <laughs> oh, you clever bastard. Yeah, because when they do get hit, it's about... It's ten times worse because they're not expecting it. They aren't prepared. That's the way to do it. Linux is the way to go, honestly. I love Linux. Uh, router get new post rest dot render. Uh, what was it called? Let's go ahead and call this admin slash new post title new post flash rec dot flash user rec dot user that's good enough then router dot post new post is authenticated function rec rest Uh, I'm losing track of chat. You guys are very talkative. I love it. Let's see how many viewers. Oh, crap. That's not what I meant to do. View channel info. Holy crap. 20 viewers. Thank you so much, guys. Holy crap. And we need to pull in the post model and the user model. So. Welcome, Zenware. Welcome back, buddy. Okay, so pat that join. Do her name. Uh, crap. No. Damn it. What are you doing? Bar post equals require. Path dot join. Dir name. What is this shit? Um, okay. Just freeze, that's okay. What the fuck can I scroll? There we go.
Okay. Let me catch up on this real quick. Uh, holy crap. Don't kill me. Are you a developer? Rush Jr. Linux infect Linux servers. Yeah, you can't really infect Linux servers directly because there's no user interaction, so to speak. Even though viruses that are downloaded onto servers are done through vulnerabilities most of the time. So, I mean, you can do a virus, and but you still need the vulnerability to get in. Uh, Jesus Christ. Welcome, Rigster98. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you do, don't forget to drop that follow. I'm trying to keep up on chat. It's proving difficult. Rats. Yeah, Java drive buys, remote administration Trojans. Uh, yeah. Uh, we get to run Bastion. Not so bad. What was it? Heart bleed was an information disclosure. Yeah, so angry. Face palm. What does your disc desktop look like? Angry. I feel like virus proof is just a misnomer because virus. It's just not targeted as much by viruses, but still very much vulnerable. Okay. Let's get this back down to a manageable size. And continue. You know, I'm just going to go full screen on this. And welcome OxoCubes. Hope you enjoy the content. If you do, don't forget to drop that follow. If you don't feel like following, still just happy to have you here. So, ah, uh, crap. Yeah. Slash model slash uh, post model dot JS. That's good. Exactly. Um, let's go ahead and create that view because I can't really do much without thinking about how it's going to be done. So, new post dot jade extend layout block content. It's not difficult to get a virus. Same difficulty on every OS. It's just targeting. Oh my god. <laughs> I bleed. Oh my god. No, that wasn't heart bleed. That was shell shock. Heart bleed allowed you to intercept SSH traffic potentially through an information disclosure. Uh, why are you asking me this question? Yeah, and more specifically, environment variables. Welcome, Os K T G Gooey. I don't know. I failed that. Hope you enjoy the content. If you do, don't forget to drop that follow. If you don't feel like following, still just happy to have you here. Yeah. Just because. I don't know. Uh, what I was saying, because if you go to a site that has a virus targeted towards your computer, you're going to get a virus. Unless you have proper protection up. And, um, oh my god. Let me catch up on this chat, you guys. Uh, yeah. Windows vol uh, malware is the highest volume, but it doesn't necessarily affect the difficulty of getting a virus on your system. It may affect the number of times you have the potential to get a virus, but yeah, you have to do some reconstruction on the leaked data. 
Um, here. XKCD Heartbleed. Yeah, because you have... It's kind of like blind injection in a way. It's just us. In this world. On this planet. Intense and quiet. Yet brilliant. Yeah. It really is... Exactly. Look at this. How it works. Potato. Bird. Hat 500 lever leathers. Letters. Oh my god. So, user making one sees 500 letters. Hat. Lucas requests a misconnection page. Eve. Administrator wants the service master key to this. So you could get something awesome, like the service master key, or the private key, or you could get just a bunch of shit. Exactly. It's completely random because the I don't think the uh, private keys really ever transmitted. So anyway. Name equals post title uh title place holder equals Welcome back Josh Crotty. Glad to see you in here again. What? Let's just call this content. And we'll render that as markdown. Actually, Ken. Curious if I can render GitHub flavored markdown. Oh my god, this chat's out of control tonight. I love it. Fine, let's just go to Jade Lang. I don't want to suggest an OS. OS and For VMware versus VirtualBox, I'm not too sure, but if you, um, for an OS, it depends on what kind you like. If you're going the Arch route, check out Manjaro Linux. It's actually really cool. Um, I do love Debian personally, but that's hit and miss with other people. Online API. Where's the language reference? There we go. And welcome, stay cool, and welcome back, Zenware. Glad to see you guys back in here. Uh, filters, that's what I'm looking for. Cali's a nice distro, just not as a day to day distro. Okay, so that's how it works. We'll do that. I've been trying to upload to YouTube pretty quick consistently. Um, sometimes the upload fails, but I've been trying to do it for you guys because I know some of you want to go back and watch through it. 
Yeah, I really hate Unity. It's a pain in the ass. Uh, name content. Let's call this post box. And let's add some styling for that. <laughs> so, post box with 100% of the container. Uh, let's see what else. Oh my god, Windows ME. That was a painful time in computing history. Also, get free forms. Auto post your other. They do. I like declaring it explicitly because sometimes I change routes around. My first computer was Windows 95. Windows 95 was better than Windows ME. That's how bad Windows ME is. We have the post back body rate is zero. Let's try that. Oh, it's actually on a MacBook G4. So we got that border. Um, what else? That should be good. In your place. <laughs> yeah, well then. Well, technically, my first computer was, I think, Windows Vista. Got that when I went to school. But. My first computer that I regularly used was my parents' desktop, which ran Windows 95. Then Windows ME, and currently Windows XP on my parents' computer. So, that should be good. <laughs> 500px. And... Oh, I'm so sorry, Russ, but yeah, my first computer was my parents' Windows 95 box. And my first personal computer was a Windows Vista laptop. Nobody loves you, semicolons. Keep the style consistent. I really just need better all around internet so I can actually have, you know, decent upload. There we go. Antivirus. I actually love Vast as an antivirus. Welcome back, Chip the Rip. Glad you're back. Glad you got that paper finished. Hope you get an A on that. That's what I'm curious about. I get 10 megabits pretty consistently, but I was advertised 2 megabits. Welcome, noobs to ninjas. What up, what up? Hope you enjoyed the content. Oh, that's right, Oswald. That's what I was going to go for. Um, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to drop that follow. If you don't feel like following, still just happy to have you here. And welcome, Jody94. Hope you enjoy the content. If you do, don't forget to drop that follow. If you don't feel like following, still just happy to have you here. Yeah, Avast is actually really nice as an antivirus. It's gotten a little more spammy, though. Like, I get these random pop-ups with advertisements. Hey, upgrade to our VPN service. It's like, no. Huh. I used to use AVG, but... Ew. 
Let's see, what else? Uh, okay, I think that's how it's going. Let's go ahead and get that login. <laughs> Angry Masturbator, you are just <laughs> too much. Too much, man. Uh, actually. I'm very impressed with how active chat is tonight. I mean, look at this. We have 19 viewers. Got up to 23. Holy crap, guys. You guys are amazing. I actually really don't need antivirus. I spend more time turning it off than I do using it. Let's see. Oh my god, this is amazing, guys. So let's see. Um, Actually, we need to do an is setup function. Function is set up. Right, rest next. How to get URL. Uh, Expressjs.com slash four x slash API dot HTML and let's just jump to that wreck right away. Uh wreck dot path maybe original URL. Original URL might be exactly what I need. Uh no. Users or wreck dot path. Uh, uh, user dot count. That's what it is. Microsoft is such a beautiful. What the fuck are you talking about? This is currently have dual setup. Dual setup is the way to go. My God, you guys are so talkative. I love it. Function error count if count rest up redirect. Uh, that's what I gotta do. So, return if path equals admin setup. Let's do a little change. Yeah, I'm excited for Windows 10. My god, you guys. Yeah, I agree, because. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh my god, that is. I honestly love having a laptop. It's got the portability. It's got enough power to do anything CS related. So I'd recommend getting a laptop. Let's see. If not an account. Crap. Uh, what's going on here? So, what did I do? Shit. Yeah, I have an extra parenthesis. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I just did. Okay. So, cut this into here. So what I'm doing right now, I'm actually trying to set up an is set up function. So if it's set up already and somebody tries to set it up again, it won't allow them to. Uh, but if it's not set up, it will 
automatically direct from the admin page to um yeah so I got that if got that got that got that So we can just do that. Oh, Steve died already. Welcome back, Dude Twenty Two and Ninja. Are you talking about either OSX? Or the great benefits. Oh my God, I am losing track of chat, guys. It's a good sign. Steve made some great progress. OSX is getting better. Not the virus combo again. <laughs> Okay, go down. Turn in just hang out to the device. <laughs> I am so lost, guys. <laughs> what are you talking about? Actually, I can move this outside entirely. Cut this. Move this in here. This will save me a little bit of coding. If count else, there we go. Uh, close that up. Close that up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Caffeine just ignores me. Yeah. Not the users. Why? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm just gonna try and keep up on this, but you guys are talkative. So let's just go ahead and do is set up. Yeah, I'm on Windows. I don't really like Windows for programming, but it's the only thing that can actually... Yeah, I'm on Windows, but I prefer coding on on uh, Linux distros. Uh, say, Pug, please just don't ban anybody, because this is very active and I love it. Okay. Why am I? Uh. Okay, so that's what I need to do. Is set up. Free DOS. I have not. Good. I just. I am lost. I saw something about banning, figured I'd say something. It looks like we the max encoding. It's got a lot of good coding tools that just aren't available on Windows. Oh my god, that's a long chat. Say hello to Spotify Premium and say goodbye to ads. Explore a world of music with no Yeah, like just don't download software you aren't actively looking for. Basically. Uh That's not what you're saying. Yeah, I didn't say anything about that. Xcode for the one terminal is life. That was actually true. I love a quote if you believe I did though. Okay, that's something else entirely. Code and terminal is life. Uh, I have a love hate relationship with Xcode. Visual Studio is a great idea. I've never heard, never used it. 
I've heard I never used it. I have heard that too, and I have also never used it. Or you know, don't bold something dot scr. There's <laughs> XP times in Windows Plain to know while installing. It's possible to have a virus for after installation. Not really, unless the install script is already backdoored. Yeah. Um, I don't even code in this yet, and I'm in this pile of shit. Surprised though, I really love Visual Studio. Yeah, I've been mean to try out. Download. Yeah, I. They used to be good, but then they had that download installer, that just went to shit. Dak, buddy, want the news? No, Visual Studio is probably the only product that Microsoft got right. iOS is trash. I'm an Android guy anyway. Oh my god. I'm scared. Sorry about it. true, ladies and gents. The internet. Rocks and AC1. Yeah, I got my Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Uh, say what you want about iOS, but dollar wise, it's a hell of a lot more profitable to work on than iOS. On iOS than Android. Huh. T. <laughs> Windows XP had file sharing open, which had vulnerabilities. I'm a massive OS X fan, but iOS ha can go to hell. We'll say pug. We'll. Famous 445. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Give more of VirtualBox. Personally, I use VirtualBox, but I don't have a strong opinion. Yeah, I'm trying to catch up with you guys. I want to leave this nice and tall so I can catch up. According to my personal experience, none of my iPhone friends buy apps. Well. Um, uh, hmm. Yeah. Plus, Google gives you free credit for answering surveys. Sure, I sell my personal information, but. <laughs> All right, so probably probably one KVM. Android, short customer. That's true. The customization can't be. Beat. Oh my God, you guys! I can't even catch up. I gotta widen it. Uh, obviously, that's only anecdotal, but. YMMV, not familiar with that acronym. The jailbreak community is uh, in what? Yeah, jailbreak community is pretty awesome. Uh, it's three and I Android phones because just absolutely. Yeah, but it also raises the barrier for entry, and there are some pretty stupid rules. At least from what I've seen through their terms of service. Exactly, material design is sexy as fuck. Not poor caffeine, this is amazing. Welcome back, Rich Tuck, and welcome Snow 8. Hope you enjoy the content. If you do, don't forget to drop that follow. And if you don't feel like following, so we're just happy to have you here. Holy crap, you guys. It's getting super chatty. I'm going to check the chat lines when I'm done with my stream. Because this is going to be close to a new record. Try Sublime Text 2. Visual Studio is a lot more like workflow oriented from what I understand. Uh, it's apparently sent one then. I don't have an opinion on this because I haven't worked with iOS or Android, so I'm staying out of that conversation. Only editor. I honestly don't know. Like, I like just having my own kind of modular workflow. So, set up. Uh, yeah, it's got. Uh, it's got an entire integrated development environment. So let's see. Are we back up to 20 viewers? 20. Yeah, 20 viewers. Holy crap, guys. Okay, thanks for stopping, Snow Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys. Okay, I promise it's for more money on iOS. <laughs> oh my god, that probably should be. Yeah, and isn't like a hundred bucks a year just to get on the app store? Distribute free apps? I don't know. 
There was some pricing model that I remember. Anyway, I am getting zero work done. Flash. I agree, because honestly, Apple tries to fight the, the the jailbreak community at every turn. Oh, Rock Look Up Master I actually like that jail. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I love Apple's work. And user rec user. Actually, this won't have a user, so no need to include that. So. Thanks, Chip the Rip. I'm enjoying this a lot. Like, this is impressive, guys. And welcome, uh, noobs to ninjas. Welcome back. Yeah, that's an, that's true. Uh, block. No, it doesn't. Uh, I love new. I'll have to stop by sometime. Let's see, uh, can I follow? No. Fine, I'll just open up your Twitch file. Open your URL. Okay, open, open, open. Yeah, because it's... Oh my god. Okay, follow. Go away. Yeah, you have to change the default password. Um. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Ubuntu's mobile OS seems like it could be pretty damn cool. So, form. Oh, action equals set up. Actually, fine. Method equals post. Oh, this is. <laughs> It'd be like a tinker toy, nothing more. I still want to see what they do because they do have a fair. Um, it could do it well, but I don't know. It won't gain enough popularity to really take off, so to speak. Yeah. I think that's kind of an oxymoron because a full OS on a mobile device is still going to be limited by the device's features. And if it reaches the point where it's not, that's basically going to be a laptop. Input type equals password. Password. Placeholder equals password. Input type equals e uh actually is there an email type good night chip thanks for stopping by hope to see you in here tomorrow so have some have some good sleep that's totally what i meant to say but let's roll with it uh but you're still not going to have the keyboard you're not going to have the same uh possible setup because even on a 4K screen that's this big, the screen's this big. Doesn't matter if you have 10,000 pixels in an inch. 
you're not going to have the same resolution or it's going to not make a huge difference. Uh, that's what I was checking. Input MDN. MDN. Uh, fine. HTML. Input. It's. They don't closet them, they do talent acquisitions mainly. At least from what I've seen. That's true. Yeah, Samsung's actually got a decent implementation, but it's not universal. Like, I want to be able to have my Twitch and OBS remote open up at the same time, but that's not possible. Uh, input. What types? ST type. Are these the types? Yes, I just completely skipped over that. So, type equals email. Name equals email. Place holder equals email at provider.tld. What's up, DevSideK? Hang on. I have Ubuntu right now. I've been meaning to reinstall something else because I'm not a huge fan of Ubuntu. Ubuntu, I absolutely hate Unity. Uh, personally, I love Fedora is one. Um, Elementary is something I've been meaning to check out. Debian's always nice. Uh, Manjaro Linux is actually really cool. Um, but it depends on what I have installed, which right now is Ubuntu and just slowly makes me want to punch the screen. Rush Jr. What was the context to that? Really? It's that easy? Holy hell. Uh, type equals submit. Val. Uh, I'm not going to open that right now because I have. Oh my god, Gen 2. <laughs> I had a buddy help me through something called. Well, through some parts of Linux Force from scratch. And holy hell, that was hard enough. Gen 2's. From what I understand, basically that bare bones. Jesus Christ, it's that easy. It's way more user friendly, but I don't give a damn. I want to install what I want. And welcome, Wild Poea. That was probably not correct, but welcome. Hope you enjoy the content. If you do, don't forget to drop that follow. If you don't feel like following, still just happy to have you here. So we got that going. Uh. Let's do some form styling. I don't think we've done any of that yet. Oh, wait. Uh, I forgot I have this. So, let's move this over to done. Uh, post creation. That's unplanned. Uh, let's see. I might just keep this an icebox. Uh... Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, Ubuntu is actually really nice as a server distro, but the front end, they try too hard to be user friendly, which makes it pain in the ass to customize. Is this a Yosemite desktop? Or is this actually Yosemite? Or both. 
because yeah, that's Yosemite. That's uh, what's it called? Half Peak, Half Dome, something like that. Yeah, it's not because Arm is an entirely different architecture. Um. Ubuntu is actually a great server distro. That and Debian, those are the two I really actually enjoy as servers. CentOS is a pain in the ass. Had to compile a coin daemon on there and that just didn't ever work. It took two hours and three people to get that working, so... Fuck CentOS. And welcome to eBruning! Happy to see you back. I cannot speak for shit today. So happy to see you back. This is exciting. So we got that going. Uh, what am I working on now? Add a card. Form. Styling. And labels. Front end. Close. Move this to doing. Arch is actually a really nice distro. I'm not a huge fan of it because for some reason I can't stand the yum package manager and I don't like using a GUI front end. Oh, what? WHM. <laughs> uh, let's see. Style that style. Let's go ahead and just drop this form. Uh, or just Gen 2 for it. Or not Yum, Pac Man. Yeah. I am a huge fan of Apt as a package manager, Aptitude. Yeah, there really isn't right now. No good f free open source. Oh my god, guys. Allergies. There's actually an idealist going on on Watch People Code now. It's sticky, I think. Yeah. Chocolate is actually pretty decent for Windows, but even still, it's got a limited number of packages. It took me forever to finally install Tmux on it. By the way, I love Tmux. It's my guilty pleasure. Yeah, um... Uh, right here. Yeah, it's... Oh, three words, Linux from scratch. I think I actually submitted that last night. I don't remember, though. Yeah, because you really are relying on that entirely for security. But yeah, they actually got quite a few. Advanced Node.js, mean stack. Hey, that's me. M. I'm going to count that as me anyway. Uh, React. I need to learn React. Meteor JS is pretty cool, but I don't like it as as a concept in production. Yeah, they actually have some pretty cool ideas on here. Yeah, because some are on the uh, RPM standard and some are on the DEB standard. Let's go ahead and container this. I feel like we should have a container. Um, Layout.jade. So. Container. Let's 
So let's create that container style up towards the top, I feel like. Max width, let's do 1200 px. Oh, and margin zero auto. I didn't save, so. <laughs> XKCD standards. Oh, close enough. It's going to show up. It really would be useful. Let's see. But yeah. Situation. There are 14 competed standards. See AC chargers, character encoding, instant messaging, etc. 14 ridiculous. We need to develop one universal standard, standard that covers everyone's use cases. Yeah. Situation. There are 15 cons competing standards. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a really cool idea, but I'm afraid we're going to end up with this kind of situation if that happens. Because each one's going to be like, no, we need to do it this way. No, we need to do it this way. So, inspect element. Right here. Um... So let's refresh this. There we go. Android phone. Okay, so we got that. That's actually looking pretty good now. Most of them are dead most of the time, like most Android phones. <laughs> Some point were made, but it's still not that great. Okay, so that's good. Um. Yeah, I think. I'm using MongoDB, so most of the mean stack, I'm using the Mongoose database driver. Crap, no. Go away, Skype. You suck up memory. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, MongoDB with Mongoose, I have a free database, or free instance on... God damn. Save. Close, 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 close. So, quit. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'm using MongoDB with Mongoose. And welcome, Ropes Sudi. Good to see you back in here. So yeah, Mongo's, MongoDB is actually really nice. It's not too complex. It's got reasonable speed. And I got my instance from MongoLab. Yeah, just the whole mean stack is pretty damn awesome. Mean.io. Okay. Yeah, MongoDB Express on top of Node.js with Angular, which I need to learn. Actually, I'm getting kind of tired of working on the back end, and I need to learn Angular, so... Angular.codeschool.com I've already completed this once, but I need to refresh. 
So we're going to learn some Angular real quick. Uh, sign to code school. Uh, I think I signed in with GitHub. Oh my god, my back. So, let's go ahead and do this. Yep, I already completed this. Let's start from scratch. React is actually really cool, but... Actually, do they have a React course yet? That is bad. Oh, it's on plural site. Um What's it called? You to me. Uh React. I want to learn React. Open URL. Cuz you know, why not? Let's see what this is. <laughs> oh my god. That actually seems accurate. Uh let's see what else. Uh there's also Rethink DB, which is new, but if I remember correctly, it's made by Google. Parse is pretty cool, actually. Same with Firebase, which was recently acquired by Google. Internet of Things. Yeah. Parse. Firebase. Oh, Arduino libraries? Sweet. I didn't mean to actually grab my Arduino and do something with it. Have my Arduino Uno sitting around. Wow, they've actually built a lot on their site. But yeah. I broke it! So, basically, like, it's a really nice query language, and Mongoose just abstracts it even more. Sweet. So, let's see what else I got. Ah, uh, that's right, we keep getting distracted. Let's they have nothing free. <laughs> yeah. Okay, learn React Online. Don't care. Official React Tutorial. Official Flux Guide. Basic documentation. React Quick Start Guide, build with React, learning React.js from Scotch. What were you missing? Uh, noobs to ninjas? Huh. Let's see. Drag this here. I'm just going to go through this again because I do need an Angular Refresher regardless. Angular Refresher. I might actually end this in a couple minutes because I do want to go get food. And everything closes at 11. Even the grocery store.
Store to sell the gems and more. Need it really quick? Angular will do the trick. Directors set the stage for your HTML page. Use it at the fingers that it lacks. Dependency injections up with Angular. JS. I hate this song. Welcome, Bubbly. With Angular. I'm Greg Pollock, and in level one, we'll be giving you an introduction to what is Angular. We'll show you the application. Yeah, I'm taking a break to learn Angular. And then introducing you to the core elements of any Angular application. In order to learn Angular, it's important that you're very familiar with HTML and CSS, as well as JavaScript. If you're not familiar with JavaScript, CodeSchool's got a great course, Keep on going. JavaScript Road Trip, which you should go check out. It's also nice if you know some testing tools. Behavior driven development. I do not know that. I need to learn that. And you should be doing that in a professional application. Not so important. You don't need to know jQuery, Ruby on Rails, Python, PHP, or any of those back end frameworks. Angular is just a front end framework, so all you need to know is JavaScript. You don't want to use Angular when you're using JavaScript to build any sort of. <laughs> Sorry for skipping that, guys. Angular this guy pisses me off when he talks sometimes. I don't know why. It's going to help you create responsive websites, meaning they're fast. They respond quickly to user input. Also, if you're familiar with jQuery, Angular plays really well with jQuery. And it's also, as I mentioned before, really easy to test, which means you can create okay. a software. Let's Welcome back, Force. This word I'm learning J uh, uh, Angular right. again. So here's the Code School website. And you'll see that when I click on a link. And no, I'm not familiar with JS at all, Angry Masturbator. Not one bit. Second, and then reloads that page. And then I click on something else. Thank you for that follow. Noobs to ninjas. Glad you're enjoying the content. This is a traditional page refresh response cycle. But what's going on behind the curtains? So here we have our browser. Okay, so it's explaining the internet to me. Server. Got it. And our browser is going to initiate a request to our server. Cool. The server responds with the web pages and assets, the HTML and JavaScript, and our browser loads up the entire web page. Okay, but so the user internet link initiates a new request and the server responds with the new web page and assets, the browser is going to load up the entire web page again. Obviously, awesome. it's out like this, it's not quite efficient. So now I'll try and stop by of a web page I would call responsive. This is our recent discovered drive course. You'll see when I click around this page, the page refresh is almost unnoticeable. Actually, there's uh, another cool library called Instant Click that will allow you to basically do your AJAX requests instantaneously on a mouse over with very little integration. I actually do want a smartwatch eventually. Make a money! In this case, just some JSON data. Once our browser has Gotta love that API into the existing page and update what we see on our browser. An increasing number of applications these days are building their own API. They might do this to interface with a mobile application, say on iOS. They might also build an API so that other developers can build applications that communicate with their application. They might also build APIs to communicate with front end applications. Okay, this like is a long ass video. application we're building in this course using Angular. Let's do it a little bit faster. In this course, we'll be building a front end application using Angular. <laughs> this will communicate with a back end application, but we're not going to be building that back end application. We're just going to focus on the front end. A simple definition of Angular is a nice. JavaScript framework for adding interactivity to HTML. We need to figure out how to tell our HTML when to trigger our JavaScript. So here we have some HTML. How might we tell it to call this function, which triggers an alert? In Angular, we add behavior to our HTML through directives. Okay, so ng directive. Tag that tells Angular to run or, run or no. Code. Um, so the answer here is to add the attribute ng controller to our body tag. That's right. To store controller, which is the name of our function. And if we loaded this up, we might get this alert. Obviously, this is a really contrived example, and you would Why not? 